In the name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful, all praise be to Him who is the King of kings and Lord of lords, who is the sole sustainer and supreme creator of this universe. May all the blessings and bliss on the holy soul and holy grave of Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Listeners and viewers, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This time we will be trying to learn something about success, what is success and what is the actual way towards success. You see all the human beings living under the sky, over the earth, on the earth, they all wish for success, they all want to be successful. For being successful, human beings, they make struggle, they strive and they follow one or other path to arrive at the destination. We, we see this thing that in this world there is no one concept of success, there is no only one definition of success, rather as many definitions as many human beings in the world, as many pathways as many human beings there in the world. So people define success their own way, people understand success their own way. But this time we will not be talking about different available concepts about success, different available definitions about success. What does it mean to me? What does it mean to you? What does it mean to a scholar? What does it mean to a philosopher? No, not this way rather. Today we will be trying to learn something that what does Quran say about the concept of success? What does Allah Almighty say about the concept about, about being successful in, 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 in the life? There is very popular surah in the Holy Quran, Surah Asr. It's a very short surah and almost all the Muslims, all the kids, adults, they learn it by heart and it's very easy to learn as well. This surah contains three uh, parts, mean three ayat. Fine. And this is telling us about that what is success in these and, and indeed and in this surah we find four point success recipe this is not success that is being told by any human being rather this is being told by allah almighty himself uh, imam shafi one of the imams of jurisprudence in islam and he uh, holds a very high stature in the world of scholars he used to say that if allah almighty had revealed only one surah surah asr it would have been suffix for the salvation and total success and guidance of the mankind so by this by these words of imam shafi we can understand the significance and importance and the wisdom that lies in surah asr that he is saying if allah almighty had revealed only one surah, Surah Asr, it would have been suffix, it would have been sufficient for the eternal guidelines, for the eternal guidance and for the absolute success of the human beings in this world. Similarly, if we study uh, the seerah of the Sahaba, the companions of the Holy Prophet, uh, it was their practice whenever they would come across each other, they would recite Surah Asr for one another to remind and refresh the lesson of success, to refresh uh, the lesson of the four point success recipe. And this is the Surah that indeed contain uh, the secret to the absolute success, to the eternal success. Fine. And this, these four points actually guarantee the total success and Allah Almighty Himself is promising that if you go that way, success would be there. So we are not talking about uh, the, the, the concept of success given in the books by different human beings. Rather, it is in the book of Allah Almighty. These are the words of Allah Almighty and the words of Allah Almighty are always true and they take us toward the true success. You see Surah Asr. It's a very sim a very short surah and we all uh, uh, know the words and the, the meanings of that surah as well. Wal asr innal insan alafi khusr illa lazina amanu wa amilu salihat wa tawathaw bil haq wa tawathaw bil sabr. So in the beginning Quran says wal asr by the time so here allah almighty is swearing time that by time mankind human beings are in the state of loss well the point number one those who believed 
believed in the oneness of Allah, in the monotheism of Allah, in all the prophets, in all the books, they, those came from the heavens, those were re revealed on the different prophets of different times, those who believed in the life after death, in the life hereafter, in, in angels, in, in, in hell and heaven. So these all are the beliefs, those who are firm on that belief, belief those who have very strong and uh, living faith and they never ever compromise on their faith, they, they rather uh, have, have, have unshakable and immutable belief and they stand firm, they are ready to sacrifice their lives for the sake of their belief. So this is quality number one, this is point number one uh, out of four point success recipe that the, the people who are firm on the belief and what are the beliefs that are given in the other parts of the Holy Quran. Number two, Illallazina Amanu and number two, Amilus Salihat. Those who did the rightest deeds, good deeds, virtuous deeds, pious deeds, they do piety to others, they do good things, they do the good, good, good actions, fine. So all the good things and they ask and, and all the uh, good actions, all the good practices, all the good things that have been told by Allah Almighty, they exactly follow those things. So this is point number two in the four point success recipe and point number three, they ask for good, they ask for virtue they preach virtue they exhort each other for good things for good practices they tell about the do's which have been told by Allah Almighty they tell about the don'ts that have been told by Allah Almighty so this is point number three out of the four point success recipe where they are advising people to do good to come to good to say good and finally point number four that, that they, they, they express and they exhort exhibit patience whenever they are in trouble, whenever they are in difficulty, whenever they are uh, uh, they are facing sufferings, fine, in the way of Allah Almighty, they be patient, they be humble and they, 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 they don't uh, complain Allah Almighty, fine, so they take on the troubles on themselves in the path of Allah, in the way of Allah, in, 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 in finding Allah Almighty, so the people who have these four things in their life, so these are the four points which we have to follow and we need all these four things in our life. It is not like this that you are going for three and leaving one, taking two and leaving two others, taking three and leaving one. No, we have to take all these four things. It's a complete package of success. Fine. So there's no pick and choose kind of thing here. Rather, we are bound to take all these four things. When we bring these four things, things in our lives then we will be going toward the path of success we will be on the path of success we will be on the highway of success that will take us to eternal peace that will take us to eternal success that will take us to absolute success and you see the success the way to success the pathway to the success that has been told by Allah Almighty there is no doubt in that there is no shadow of doubt in that so we must come towards that don't go for those things which are being told by the human beings they may be right they may be wrong but here there is no question of being wrong it is hundred percent correct it is absolutely correct fine so if we have these four things if I have these four things in my life I will be successful if you have these four things in your life you will be successful if we all have these four things in our lives we all would be successful human beings and we will finally reach to the destination and let's follow this four point success recipe that will guarantee and ensure success here and hereafter and finally it will take us to our creator to Allah Almighty where he will declare us as successful human beings and that will be a true success. Thank you so much.